All right, guess what, the friends? I'm gonna share five little things that I did every day that helped me lose 50 pounds in three months. Number one. Got a stain on my new shirt. <laughs> First thing I did, pack a portion control lunch for work every day. In the past, I would either skip lunch or eat fast food. And both of those would end up in me being really hungry and I would overeat at the end of the night. Packing a lunch and bringing it to work every day helped me fuel my work day, bridge the gap between lunch and dinner, and stop me from eating so much at nighttime. And then the portion control really helped me start getting used to eating less and I got into a calorie deficit that way so that I could start losing the weight. And I really loved bento box lunches. And if you check out my channel, like I show a bunch of ones that I really love and do take to work. And why I love those is because it's automatic portion control. You put all the tasty things that you love in a box, but you can't overeat because it's all small portions. And then I would pack a balance, you know, some protein, some, some whole grain carbs, some fruit, some veg, and it would give me a balance, which also helped fuel me properly throughout the day and then stop me from overeating or having way too many cravings. Number two, ate breakfast every day. I always skip breakfast and it's because I thought that by skipping breakfast, I'd save myself calories and then I would lose weight. But the problem was it actually did the opposite. Every time I skip breakfast, I would be so starving by the end of the day, I'd come home and all heck would break loose. I'd eat everything in sight. So I started eating breakfast and not just any breakfast. I needed to eat one that was filling so that it would help me fuel the morning. And when I ate a filling breakfast, like for example, eggs, oatmeal with peanut butter and some fruit, that was a balance. And so it would help be, it would be slow digesting with the protein and the fiber and it would really help fuel my morning and when i was fueled and not hungry it helped me make better decisions about food throughout the day and obviously i was fueled so every time i would go to eat something i would think about it more when i skipped breakfast i would just be eating everything all the time so fueling and setting myself up for success with the breakfast and the lunch helped me portion out my food, which is how I lost the weight, really stay on track and think about what I was eating throughout the day. And then nighttime, which was usually my problem, I wasn't overeating as much. And that's why I was getting the results. Number three. <laughs> Did you like that little pizzazz there? Not really. <laughs> Put a bottle of water in the bathroom every night before bed. I didn't drink any water but I knew that like water, drinking water would help me on my weight loss journey. But honestly, like the thought of me drinking water, that was like my face. To help me get in the swing of it, to start being consistent with getting some water in to hydrate me and get me the benefits, I would put a bottle of water in the bathroom at night and I made a non-negotiable and like Kyle Sassy, my husband, he's done the same, lost the same amount of weight as me, kept it off for the same amount of time. We did this, this was a non-negotiable. Every morning when we went in the bathroom to wash our face and get ready for the day, we needed to drink our bottle of water before we left the bathroom. That helped us start the day off right by at least getting one bottle of water in. And then if we didn't get any more in throughout the day, we were at least hydrating ourselves a little bit, which was more than we were used to. And why we learn like water is so important. One, it helps your body function better, obviously, but the biggest things were when you drink water with your meals, it helps fill your belly so you feel fuller quicker and then you don't eat as much at your meals. The second thing, which is crazy, but if you're dehydrated, your body can send you signals that you're hungry, but actually you just need water. You need to be hydrated. So that's how we started getting consistent with getting the water in. We started with the one and because we did that, we were so proud of ourselves. We wanted to keep it going. And then throughout the day, we would make sure that we were drinking our water. And that's the whole point of this video. Like these little things 
They didn't just help me lose 50 pounds in three months. They helped me go on and lose 130 pounds and keep it off for nine years. I used to be 275 pounds. I was morbidly obese and I like, I tried so hard for so many years to lose weight and I kept failing. And it's because I kept trying to do too much at once and be perfect. And it was so overwhelming and I put so much pressure on myself by trying to do so much. That's why I kept failing. Once I realized that it was the small changes that could actually get me the big results because I could be consistent with them, that's what really helped. And that's what these little things are that I'm sharing in this video. They're very simple things that I could be consistent with every day. And the consistency, not the perfection, is what got me to stick to what I was doing so that I could actually lose the weight. And these little things paired with portion control is what really helped me get moving and grooving and get the results. Number four. I don't know why, but I like doing this things in the video here. <sighs> I ate a single serving portion, like um, a single serving snack or treat of my favorite food every single day. So in the past, I would just get rid of treats when I was trying to lose weight, but that just backfired and it would trigger my emotional eating and I'd end up overeating and eating way more. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna include treats, but the problem was there were certain things I couldn't keep in the house because it would trigger the emotional eating and I'd eat too much of it. But I learned if I bought single servings of like cookies and crackers that you're gonna see like in the B-roll here, it allowed me to enjoy what I was eating, but not overeat it. And also what I love is right away, you're not going to, you're not going to get it. If you're somebody that does have emotional eating and can't keep things in the house, you are going to have to keep trying and being consistent with the single servings. But what I love about them is that when you finish one, if you can't go on autopilot because if you want more, you have to open another package in that time of having to do the work to open a package. It gives you time to think, wait a minute, do I really need another one of these? And that really helped me stop. Also labeling our single servings like Kyle and Nicole helped me not eat because I didn't want to eat Kyle's servings. So that really helped too. Another trick that we did with the single serving snacks and things is we would only buy enough for both of us for the week. So when that was done, it was it. So if we wanted a treat every day, we needed to make sure that we had enough for the week because one, it's really expensive to keep going out and buying treats. Two, we only bought enough for the week. That meant we would have to do more work. If we ate them all, we'd have to go back out, go to the grocery store and all of those things, you know, you start thinking, wait a minute, do I really need to do all of that? And then it gets you to focus back on your single serving. You had your treat. There's no like restricting or denying food or feeling deprived. You had it. Now you can move on and continue throughout your day. I kind of use my laziness and cheapness to work for me for once in my life. Yeah. Cause like we would label it like Nicole and Kyle. So I can't just run through all the snacks or else I gotta get my butt out there, I get into the grocery store, buy more. Exactly. And if it's really bad and you can't even have a box of single serving things, then um, we've had people um, comment below if they like chips, they'll literally go out and buy one single serving bag of chips every day. And there were times where I needed to do that too, just buy a single chocolate bar, eat it, be done with it, nothing else in the house. And, you know, eventually work through why you can't keep stuff in the house and, you know, build up to keeping stuff, which we can now, but we had to start from single servings and then sort of gradually move up. And if you live, if you live alone, use us, you put Nicole's name on exactly. some of the packages and put my name sassy on the other ones. Mm -hmm. It'll just give you, it'll maybe make you laugh and it'll give your brain, like Nicole's saying, like a, just a little bit of time to think about why you're eating or why yeah. you eat more than the portion. If you put Sassy's name on them, like <laughs> that's his name, right? Cause he's sassy. So if you touch Sassy's package, like he's gonna get sassy with you. So think of that. It will not only make you laugh, but go, oh yeah, I probably don't need to keep eating these. Number five, eat a tasty and filling late night snack. Late night eating was 
Kyle and I's problem. So after, you know, all the day was done, we were ready to sit down and watch TV and relax and there was nothing left to do. That's when we would all of a sudden feel the need to have to fill that like void with food. And we would just eat, eat, eat. So we tried not eating at night and that didn't work. That just made us eat more. So we said, hey, what if we actually just plan a snack for the trouble time, which is late night? And let's plan one that's like tasty, but also filling so that we don't have to keep eating. And two of our favorites, one is popcorn because you can eat a lot of popcorn for very few cows and it has fiber in it so it keeps you really full and we've made like pizza popcorn and all kinds of things on our channel um, different recipes and things that you can see in our vids um, smart pop is our favorite and i love like they have mini bags so if you only have a little bit of cows left in your day like 110 cows for a mini bag it's like five cups popped and then there's the big bag which we get also which is like eight or ten cups popped I can't remember but you get a lot of popcorn and we put the kernel seasoning on it and it really you know satisfies our cravings helps us feel full and also it's a cool snack to hang out chill and watch movies and eat at the same time and me and Nicole can eat really fast so the other good thing about the smart pop it takes like even us it takes like 20 minutes to half hour to eat it yeah and the big bag it's only like 200 and something cows like 240 or 260 and you get a massive bowl and it feels endless and so that's something that set us up for success and another one that we eat a lot um, of is cottage cheese and peanut butter because cottage cheese is slow digesting because it has casein protein in it and combined with the peanut butter and then we put some low-cal sweetener and cocoa powder in it and it's a really it's kind of tastes like a chocolate peanut butter mousse it really helps us feel full i'll put the recipe in the description okay thanks bubba it really helps us feel full you don't want to go to bed hungry because if you go to bed hungry like all you think about is food you don't sleep and then you wake up in the morning you're either gonna all heck break loose eat or you're gonna have massive cravings and it's gonna lead to all heck breaking loose later so having a snack at the problem area that's filling really really helped us and if you want to know like the exact meals and proportions that I ate to lose the weight, you can buy my weight loss ebook. It's called The First 50. The link's down below and code Nicole will save you 10%. And we recently just put up an everything bundle so you can get all four of my ebooks for a cheaper price. And then if you use code Nicole, you'll save 10% off the cheaper price. So it's like a double savings. The link's down below for that too. Also, protein, it helps lower your hunger hormone ghrelin so you feel fuller longer. And I love protein powder for that. And this one is HTLT Sups. This is the straw, I call it straw cheesecake. I don't give this enough credit on this channel. I'm always plugging like the s'mores or the maple cookie, but this satisfies my sweet tooth. I don't know, there's something about it, it's so good. I love adding this to everything like oatmeal, Greek yogurt. It really a great locale way to add protein. Yeah, we put some of this in Greek yogurt and then top it with fresh strawberries. Like Yes, and good. strawberry banana Cheerios. <laughs> yeah, so for like good. the crust part or yeah. a little bit of graham cra uh, cracker. Yeah, to make like a parfait thingy thingamabobby. Code Nicole will save you 15% and the link is down below. Weight loss should never be a punishment. Think of weight loss like this, like think of a staircase where there's 10 steps and you need to get to the top. You're not just gonna go from the bottom all the way to the top. In order to get where you wanna go, you have to get on the first step first. You can't just skip 10 steps. You're gonna fall and hurt yourself. You need to get on the first step first, then the second step. So it's the little things that you can be consistent with, the one step at a time, so that you can do it every day and stick to what you're doing. Jumping from one step to 10, you're gonna keep falling and failing and having to get back up over and over again. So do one step at a time, love your food, eat a little less of it, just a little, and set yourself up for success by cherry picking and doing some of these that might work for you. Don't forget, watch this vid and this vid. Why? Because Sass and I are real friends, losing weight in the real world, and we love what we eat, and we set ourselves up for success, and we get excited every day because we love it! <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Love you, the friends. Thanks so much for your support. We appreciate it. I will.
ketchup and the nuts and cuteroonies. Please it, please it, please it. Now I gotta go wash this stain off my shirt. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>